All right, let's see what you uh, came up with on this example. Again, the question is, let's, let's redo the problem uh, that we just you know, uh, took a look at. And the question is, what would be the moment uh, to make the combined stress at the rear of the footing e equal zero? So basically, you know, we're saying, hey, we, we're going to come up with a new moment but the distribution of stress would now be like this. You know, it would be whatever it is at the front of the footing, but at the rear of the footing, it's going to have to be zero. Okay? Um, so, in reality, if you just think about maybe our little table here, okay? It's so, I mean, we're not really too concerned with what goes on at the front, all right? What we are concerned with is what goes on at the rear, and at the rear of the footing, the co combination of the two has to come out to be zero. Now, the question you have to ask yourself is, does the moment, since the moment can vary, now from at least the first example we did, does that affect P over A at all? The answer is no. The load's still 100 kips, the area is still the same area, the P over A, the direct compression stress, still negative 5 KSF. The only thing that varies is this. Okay? Well, you tell me what the equation has to be that says negative 5 plus x equals 0. What does x have to be? Plus 5. So at the rear of the footing, the bending stress has to be such that it creates a zero combined stress. <coughs> the only way that happens is if the bending stress comes up to be plus 5 kips per square foot. So this, the answer to this question is really MC over I has to equal 5 KSF. Is the C the same C that we used before? Yeah, C is 2.5 feet. What about I? Is I the same I that we used before? Yeah, still 41.67 feet to the fourth. Think you can redo that formula to solve for M? I think you can. I think it would look something like this. M is equal to five kips per square foot times 41.67 feet to the fourth divided by 2.5 feet. Okay? Square feet, like this, feet square. I got feet in the bottom, so that just makes this feet. So I got 5 times 41.67 divided by 2.5 and it's going to come out to be so many kip feet. How many kip feet does it come out to be? 83.3. 83.3. So a moment of 83.3 foot kip, <coughs> kip feet is going to give you a, a combined stress of zero at the rear. Now it's going to be something bigger at the, the uh, front. Anybody want to tell me how, how big that would be? You don't even have to look at your calculator. It's going to be minus 10, right? Minus 10, because you got the numbers right here. Okay? So, yeah. All right? So, questions on that?